Good morning, Saxy. It's Tuesday, August 18th, 2020. It's about 8.42 a.m. in the morning. All right, it's a beautiful morning out there this morning. A little bit drier. We'll talk about that in just a second. But let's go to our current conditions at my house. Temperature is 76, dew point 72, and that makes relative humidity 86%. The wind's out of northeast at 4. Barometric pressure 29.97 inches is steady, and that makes the heat index 84, so not too bad for almost 9 o'clock in the morning. Now, I think the main weather headline today will be the drier air. <clears throat> Excuse me. The uh, humidity will continue to go down. The dew point will continue to go down, and that will make for a pleasant uh, morning and afternoon. Now, don't get me wrong. It's going to be hot, but it won't feel near as bad as it has the last couple of days, so that's going to be the main story today. A little bit drier air to work with. Now, let's go to the satellite picture, one of my favorite things to look at in the morning. And as our beautiful sun comes up, you can see not much in the way of clouds anywhere around us. Of course, you know, us being right here, you know, the big old light blob in space. That's the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. As you can see, some clouds to the south of us, just scattered clouds around. And I think the important thing to remember here is that you can kind of see the general location and direction of the clouds moving. It's kind of a north to south flow. That is not terribly common for this time of year, so that's why we're going to get the dry air because it flows out of the north. There's some drier continental air, as we say, uh, up north of us typically this time of year, so we're going to get some of that dry air filtered down here. And it'll make, again, for relatively speaking, for August, it'll feel rather nice out there. And you can see that reflected in the thunderstorm outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. As you can see, not even a chance for any storms. Uh, no green shading for North Texas. Again, the action is going to be out at the desert southwest, uh, the Pacific northwest, and the Great Plains. Uh, they're going to have a chance to see some severe weather. And nothing on the big scale of things as we usually would see. Of course, August is typically not too active anyway for severe weather overall we do have pockets of severe weather much like the derecho that happened in the midwest a couple weeks ago that does happen but for around here just not a lot going on the rest of the week which is not a bad thing but like i said yesterday it's not going to be 105 so that's good so today we're looking at 94 uh be a little bit cooler in the next couple of days not by much a couple of degrees but hey we'll take it right and then toward the weekend i'll warm back up a little bit in the mid 90s uh, maybe Touching upper 90s, uh, Monday and Tuesday next week. Our next chance for rain, which is not really a chance <laughs> if you want to look at it that way. But on Saturday, 10%, maybe. Uh, only, and it's grasping the straws, but the only decent chance for rain we might have beyond uh, the weekend is Tuesday. And wow, it gets up to a whopping 22%. So. Keep those sprinklers on. I know we got a decent rain on Sunday night, but that's not going to last long because the sun, the August sun is going to evaporate that. It'll be gone before we know it. But again, I think the big takeaway today is the humidity and it being less. And it's going to be feel a lot drier. So I think you're going to even notice the difference between yesterday. Of course, between yesterday and Sunday, you can tell the difference. So I think uh, tomorrow, today and tomorrow especially, you'll notice the drier air. Uh, like I said, as we get into the weekend, it'll start to heat up again and it'll start to get more humid. So enjoy the next couple of days of dry weather, especially for this time of year in August in Texas. As always, thank everybody for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, I'm watching the weather so you don't have to. Have a good day, everyone.